On August 15th, ISIS attacked several positions of the Syrian Arab Army SAA and its allies in the southern part of the Al Taim oil field in the province of Deir Zor. According to pro opposition sources, the following clashes resulted in minor casualties among the both sides, but the terrorist group's members were forced to retreat, causing almost no damage to the government's infrastructure in Al Taim. In July and August, ISIS units carried out several attacks on SA positions in the Holmes Deir Zur desert. According to local sources, these attacks are an attempt to draw the SA attention from ISIS sus hiding in the desert area at the administrative borders between the provinces of Al Suwaida and Reef Damashk. The estimated manpower of ISIS units operating in the Homs Deir Zur desert, and according to some sources, in the U.S. zone of responsibility near the Atan garrison, is about 1,000 members. Abu al Fat al Fagali, a senior commander of Hayat al Khayal Sham, formerly Jabhat al Nusra, the Syrian branch of Al Qaeda, warned Russia's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, that his group will cut the feet of any soldier who would attack the so called opposition in the province of Idlib. The Mujahideen are in their strongest physical and moral status, and their will won't decline for a moment until the liberation of Damascus and beyond. al Ghali said in an open letter to Lavrov, according to the HTS Link news agency, Iba'a, This open letter has been described by Syrian experts as a desperate attempt to boost morale of Hayat al Sham and its allies ahead of a possible SA operation in the province of Idlib. Previously, militant groups have repeatedly claimed that they would never retreat from Aleppo city, Dara, Kunitra, and other key areas. However, all of them have been liberated by the Syrian-Iranian-Russian alliance. The history is about to repeat itself once again in Idlib. Meanwhile, the SA artillery has increased strikes on Hayat al Sham targets near the villages of Sarja and ul Rajim and nearby areas in southern Idlib. Several members of Hayat al Sham, the Turkestan Islamic Party TIP, and Jaish al Iza were reportedly killed in a shelling. Artillery strikes, as well as separate airstrikes by the Syrian military, are aimed at destroying the militants' defense infrastructure and weapon depots. This would help the SAA in case of a large scale confrontation in the area. While some pro government sources have already claimed that the Idlib advance will be launched soon, much still depends on results of the ongoing, behind the scenes negotiations between Russia and Turkey on the issue. The situation is developing.